So right now what I have is I have my list and my list has my different types of pies in it. And of course if I execute it, print the list, it prints out the, you know, the pies in that order of it is. So what if I want to add something new to it? Well, I could simply, you know, add a new item just by simply, you know, doing another comma right here or whatnot or whatnot. But no, 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 let's actually have someone enter a new item. So, of course, if we want to have someone input something, we're going to have to turn interactive mode on, so make sure it's on. And, of course, you know, we'll have to make a new variable and make it an input. You already know how to do this, but, you know, just to be on the safe side, let's, you know, add a new item. So, we'll go and say, you know, uh, I'll be boring here, and I'm just going to name my item new item. And new item is going to equal an input, and that input question will wind up saying, like, okay, enter a new pi. There we go. And now I have an input there. So now I could theoretically enter a new pi, but it's not going to appear on my list because I haven't told this item to go on my list. So if I were to, you know, execute this and say, enter a new pie, and, I don't know, there's minced meat pie, so minced meat, enter. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. What I have to do is I have to add this to my list. So I have to do uh, my list, because that's what I named it, dot append, and then I will have to enter the item that I need to do. So new item. I'm, I've made my item... See, I made my item, and now I'm just going to add that item, appending it, you know, to my list. And then, of course, just to, you know, be nice, I'll print the list again and show it off. So, what we have here is we have enter a new pie. Okay, minced meat. Enter. And now, you'll see, when I print it again, it printed key lime, banana, cherry, apple, strawberry, chocolate, and minced meat. It added that additional item onto my uh, into my list and it added a new slot for it. It even put the comma there for me. I didn't have to do it at all. So that's how you can wind up, you know, doing that. In the same sort of situation, you can also simply, you know, change this to delete a new pie and instead of append, I use the phrase remove. And now when I execute this, it'll say, you know, well, once it feels like loading, key lime, banana, cherry, apple, strawberry, chocolate. Delete a, delete a new pie. Okay, apple. I'm deleting apple. So now it's key lime, banana, cherry, and it skipped apple, strawberry, and then chocolate. So I removed the item that I made from this list. Now, of course, you know if you were to say delete a new pie, and I say minced meat. Because, look, there's key lime, banana, cherry, apple, strawberry, chocolate. Minced meat is not in this list. And I hit enter. It's going to give me an error saying, hey, I can't remove that. It's not in the list. See, it even says value error, list.remove x. x is not in the list. Which is why you probably want to put an if statement for if something's not in the list. It just simply tells you, hey, that's not in the list. Because, you know, it's better to just have a message saying, hey, it's not in the list, than to have just a whole error. So, we know how to add stuff to a list, we know how to delete a list, we know how to uh, sort the list forward and backwards, we also know how to make a list from, the, from scratch. You already know how to print stuff, you already know while loops and if statements. So, the only other thing why we need to say is, you know, while none while something equals none so while you know something equals none so if i say while new item equals none see how the word none actually popped up in like the little pink there so while new item equals none so while there is absolutely no choice of anything we can do something so if you really wanted to you could have a situation where as long as someone has not entered anything you can do something so that's the last little bit of information you're going to need to complete this project. So, once again, remember you're making a high score for, it could be your tests, it could be a video game score system, whatever type of score system you want. But you want to be able to add and delete uh, your list, uh, items from your list. And then of course when they hit zero or whatever, be able to quit the program. So, thank you very much. 
You have a great day.